Welcome to Dylan Talks Tone. You're about to see uh, a fairly in-depth, comprehensive breakdown of the tube section, the power section of the Boss Next Tone stage. Couple notes before we go. First of all, let's get the plug-in out of the way. Uh, thanks for joining the channel. You're gonna wanna subscribe after this. Super, super cool, so make sure you hit the button. The other thing is, check it out. There's a join button down there now. You can go check that out if you want. Uh, you can also check out patreon.com. This is a long video, so I'm just getting this out of the way right now. Uh, patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone. You can check that out if you want. Dylan Talks Tone, if you're new to the channel, I make pickups for a living, that's what I really do. And uh, a couple of notes about this video. We, uh, there's, there's gonna be in the comments a list of the equipment that we used. And a couple of things, um, we mic'd it with a Zoom H5. We did not use direct, none of that stuff. But here's what I'm gonna tell you that you cannot appreciate from this video. Number one, the 40 watt amp, which is the smallest stage, is loud, super loud. Um, during the video, I'll give you an overview of the controls and where all the settings were. And the other thing you cannot appreciate in this video is just how much air this thing moves when you're playing. It is, it's unbelievable in person. It, I could not capture that with the equipment that I had. You're gonna, it, this, is a, this was really, really fun. Hey, what's going on? So we are in Augusta, Georgia at 440 Instruments on Broad Street. If you're ever in town, you gotta make sure you come by and check out this place. I'm here with Michael Batemi. Hello. And we're gonna look at that Boss Next Tone stage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of the tube, se tube sections. And uh, we're gonna talk about how they act, how they feel. Um, and I was gonna bring you back in here to uh, Michael's inner sanctum because <laughs> The reason I chose him to do it is because he I like tubes. He likes tubes, and he's pretty diehard about that. So I figured, well, if there's anybody who can tell me, who plays a lot, how this thing is supposed to act, how it's supposed to feel, right? Those power stages, you'd be able to help us out. Sure, totally. Um, Absolutely. Before we go, give us just a quick once across of um, what you got up here. Um, Amp wise and guitars. We'll just go quick. All right, guitar. This is actually a no caster custom shop relic from the year 2000 this is a 62 strat here 57 strat here this is a 61 telly here and a 56 junior here P9. so the only reissue is the one all the way only one over here yeah yeah these so are original the guitars over there um down below we got a 65 deluxe non-reverb six v6s in there here we got a 68 princeton reverb drip edge six v6s in there here we've got a 1964 Super Reverb, 6L6 is there. And then this basement here is as close as I can get to an original 59. It's all hand wired with original components, but it is a reissue cabinet. It's got some uh, made in Italy Jensen's in there, but 59 Transformer, you know, so it's as close as I can get to an original basement there. Um, we got a 67 basement head and combo here, 6Ls, 6Ls right here as well. And then a 212 cabinet. Um, over here we've got uh, the Super from 1961, the harmonic tremolo in that is amazing. 6L6 is on that amp. And then a uh, amp from the year of my birth, 1978, Twin Reverb, 6Ls in that, of course. It's got orange frame JBLs, just, we'll just peel the paint off the wall. And then down here, we've got a 64 Vibra Verb, two 6L6s with a single 15 JBL in there. And then a 66 Deluxe Reverb, six V6s in there. And then the um, Reverb unit, which is cool, you know, so I can hook up with the non-reverb. So that's just a, uh, a big foot pedal, essentially. And then over here, with all the stuff on top of it, is a 1948 V-Front Super. 6L6 is in there, but then it's the uh, octal preamp tubes. You know, that's a very specific tone coming out of that, but a very favorite amp of Billy Gibbons, for sure. So, uh... I'm into uh, tube amps. You're into tube amps. Mainly and, Fender. Mainly yeah, Fender. so you, you have a lot of 6Vs and a lot of 6Ls, yeah. but he also has owned um, a lot of EL84 and a lot yeah. of EL34s too. things like that too. Even yeah. though they're not in the stack in right room. now. but yeah, uh, we've had them before for sure. Yeah, they've been in and out. So knowing that and 
understanding that he's got a pretty good grasp of how tubes are supposed to sound. That ne level of nerddom. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's go play with this boss. I'm excited to check it out for sure. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so what we want to figure out here is, does this thing react? Mm. Mm. Squish, right. et cetera, in each of the various tube stages. Um, the amp has 6V6, 6L6, EL84, and EL34. So we're going to start on the 6V6 side. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the clean channel. Because your, your favorite way of playing I like any... to be clean, just on that edge of being pushed where you can start to hear the break up naturally, you know. Right. And a non -ma and a non master volume. Right, right. Where you're just going to control it with the actual volume knob itself to to get to that level of break up -ness that you would want to have happen. Because for those that are not familiar, a non master volume amp is literally just one knob. It's just a volume, and the way it works is it's clean, it's clean, it's clean and clean until you hit the threshold of what those tubes can handle, mm -hmm. and then it starts to break up and give you that nice squishy breakup. Sure. Can this amp do that? That's what we're about to find out. So why don't you go ahead and play 6v6 wise, clean channel, main master volume at three o'clock. So pretty crank. People, question people are going to want to know is how does it feel? Does it feel? It feels like I'm engaging with it. You know, I mean, that's the interaction of your hands, string, cable to the amplifier. The amplifier is just as important as the guitar itself, you know, so you want to feel that symbiotic relationship between the two. I feel a reaction whenever I'm digging in deeper with my thumb over the pick, you know, you can feel it. As far as the actual 6v6 tone itself, mm. do you feel yeah, like natural it's... compression kind of a thing going on? You know, the low end is still represented there. It doesn't completely go away, but that's why I like the 6v's is just that compression situation. You think like a tweed deluxe or a brown deluxe, 6v's in there. So it's still representing the note, but it's just like a natural compression that happens with the v's. I 
and that stomach. big bottom end that yeah, that bottom has end that. stay in there. Yeah. So it sounds like a 6V. All right, let's cruise over to 6L lid. 6L6s. We didn't change anything. All we did was just change the tube set. No, Setting. nothing else. So you think about the 6Ls, we think about a little bit more of an expansion in the size of the note, so to speak, you know. And then maybe even the lower end would uh, get bigger as well. I mean, it's a bigger glass tube, you know. 6V is a little bit smaller, 6L is a little bit bigger of an actual vacuum tube, you know, so it's going to represent those notes a little bit bright, a little bit wider sounding. Right off the bat, you know, you can see a little bit more, a little bit more openness in the clarity. Feels bigger, you know. it I can feel the amp since that I'm pushing harder and give you a better digging in vibe you know? of the tones to you know, six L's would be like in a super reverb or a vibe reverb or um, those type of larger a basement amp, you know, so it's just got it's got that representation, but what it's giving me kind of a vibe of is like a super reverb with the bright switch off. Okay. You know, which is what a lot of guys like, you know. That bright switch will give you that kind of over-the-top chime kind of thing, but with that bright switch off, you just get a little bit more representation of hearing that reaction. This amp has a button. We could probably do that. Oh, it's got the... Okay, there you go. All right, so here's with it on. Right there, you see it just gives a little bit more on the top. switch you know it's just kind of like a little bit extra syrup and butter on your pancakes you know? yep. take that low note and really really kind of put a sparkle on that low note because whenever you're pushing such a low note it might feel like it can get a little dull or something like that but having that bright switch can definitely set it right where you want it to be you know? The best amp ever made. Yep. I just I um, love it'll that. It'll be hard to argue with that. Well, I guess let's turn this back off because this is our kind of our flat. Right. right. Uh, let's go British. Uh, Brits. Let's, let's do an EL EL eighty four.
uh, jangly, a little bit more on the top end there with that bright switch even off, it gives you more of that top jangly. up earlier on mm -hmm. that kind of that situation. AC15, 22 watt Marshall. That's what that is. And I, we haven't even messed EQ or anything. We're not yeah, going that deep. Player. What we're looking at really is, uh, does it react like a tubing? Yeah, I mean, does whatever it... had that little open thing going on right there. Go to Marshall Land. Mm. The famous. Instantly right there. Yeah. You get the vibe. It's tough to describe. It's just kind of like a pushed on the focused mid-range still, but you're getting that that chime on the top side. See in the middle picture. This is obviously um, being an amp collector. So let's just say this. So being an, an amp collector and sure. a gu guitar collector, you've got access to some pretty crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Who do you think, after playing it, mm -hmm. this is for? This is kind of like I mean, I would go out and play in it. I would I would play a gig with that. You know, in that mindset, you could get it done, especially just a quick grab and go of how light that is. You know, that kind mm -hmm. of situation. Of course, notoriously, tube amps are very heavy, kind of finicky. You know, they stay on top of all that mm -hmm. stuff. You know? So there's a love-hate relationship that takes place with all those guys. But you know, something that's dependable and light. I mean, you could go and play a gig with this tonight anywhere. You know, a mindset of microphone if you needed to go into a house PA or something like that. But I mean, a lot of tones just right there. So any level, you know, that mindset of 
somebody that even wants to like situation of I'm all into the tube amps, you know, so I've had those sounds in my head and ears for long, so long. So like same kind of situation we can compare and contrast with that mindset of how close did they get, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of a vibe, you know, so like even somebody that's really, really into them could have a lot of fun with the amp too, just kind of A, B, and even if they wanted to sit there yep. and get to that kind of level of uh, nerding out. But And yeah. honestly, do you think it's good enough where you have an outdoor gig at the beach, right. you don't want to take right. your... exactly. You know, you think about the inclement weather or sand or salt air kind of thing, you know, just grab that. You're not going to worry about rusting out your power tube, power amp or anything like that, you know, in, in one of your tube amps, you know. So it's very much in that grab and go kind of a vibe nowadays, you know, that kind yep. of a thing. So just as a little bonus at the end of the video. Yeah. Um, this is, this is the guitar for you, right? Like this is original the, 1957, you know, um, you talk about uh, like just a tone, like even, not even turned up, but I mean just like, just the way it just rings, it's mm -hmm. just crazy. And you've had this guitar a long time, right? Um, um, no, not too terribly long, not too terribly long, but it is been a dream for a 57 strap for sure. Oh wait, yeah, because this isn't your other one, this is a different one. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. 57 on that one, check out the back too there. Pretty yep. cool, pretty cool. And that ain't no Fender Custom Shop business either. Yeah, that's real from, uh, we got, the neck is March 57 and the body is February 57. Really cool. Mm. Um, well, it's a Fender, what, what do you want to play? Um, go with the six feet first. Okay. Sounds like a 6v6 and total, a strat. Total. Straight it's up. It's awesome. Sounds like an old deluxe just cranked up. Totally. Let's hear those six L's. Okay. Yeah, that's super cool. That's just like oh, one little twist of the knob there, <laughs> yeah. and then you're into a new tone. I even like it better than like a modeler or something because sure. you don't, there's no fiddling. Right, right. You just, just turn. instead of playing with a pick or the finger. Now, 
how could you not have fun with a tone like that? Mm -hmm. you know? So conclusion is, for 500 bucks or whatever, we'll leave a link to it in the description. It's an awesome amp. It works. It is like, like Mike said, grab and go deal, man. And what you guys, I, I mean, I know Mike pretty well, and what you all don't understand is, um, he is such a vintage collector guy. He does not own anything newer than, what is his newest amp in that stack, 78? He does not own anything new at all. Um, I was even skeptical that he was even gonna do this with me to play something more modern like this. And for him to genuinely be impressed with it, I, w I, w I was moved by that because uh, he is a tough nut to crack when it comes to anything newer, more technology. And anything that you could not capture uh, or maybe missed by hearing it on YouTube, I think you need to make up for by going and playing one in person and crank it up, like play it loud. There's a no other way. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the join button's down there. Check out all of our other videos on our channel if you're new. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.